Good morning. It's Sunday, October 18th, and you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9 as it awaits its 8.25 a.m. Eastern Time launch from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. Hello from SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California. My name is Andy Tran. I'm a production supervisor here at SpaceX. Uh, you're watching a live webcast of our 14th Starlink mission. It's also our 18th mission this year. To date, we've launched more than 750 Starlink satellites to orbit. Starlink is a constellation of satellites that can provide high-speed, low-latency internet all over the globe, particularly in remote areas where connectivity is limited or completely unavailable. On screen is a flight-proven Falcon 9. The two-stage Falcon 9 vehicle stands at 229 feet tall, or slightly taller than a 21-story building. It's equipped with 10 Merlin engines, nine on the first stage and one on the second stage. The bottom two-thirds of the vehicle is the first stage. You can see that we have some residual soot markings left on there. Uh, that is a key indicator that this rocket has supported previous launches. The first stage's job is to accelerate the vehicle through the Earth's atmosphere into space with the help of the nine Merlin engines at the base of the rocket. For this particular booster, it will be flying for the sixth time today. Its first mission was in March of 2019 on our first commercial crew demonstration mission, and then again on RadarSat three months later. It also supported three Starlink missions this year, with the most recent being our 10th Starlink mission in August. Our first stage is designed to be reflown 10 or more times with minimal refurbishment in between, and it's the 16th time we'll be flying a flight-proven booster this year, and the 44th time we're doing so to date. And lastly, at the very top of the rocket is a large nose cone. This carbon composite structure is called the satellite fairing. It houses the Starlink satellite and protects it until the vehicle is outside of the Earth's atmosphere, at which point the fairing will separate to expose the satellites to space. It's going to be the third flight for both of the fairing halves today. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. So stage separation is where the first and second stage will separate from one another, with the first stage making its way back towards Earth for landing, while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, which is Second Engine Start 1, also known as SES-1. Uh, this is where the single engine on the second stage, our Merlin vacuum engine, lights up and will continue to propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Got some really cool footage of Falcon 9.
stage separation confirmed. All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right-hand side of the screen. Again, on the left-hand side of the screen is our first stage. It's gonna make its way back to Earth to attempt landing for the sixth time on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Next event coming up is fairing deploy. Should happen just a few seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves, and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today uh, using our recovery ships Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Uh, we'll make the call about two minutes before they land, depending on the weather and the sea states. We're just over T plus four minutes to flight, and as the second stage heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, the first stage will execute two burns in order to make its way back towards Earth. First stage is what you see on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, the first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. The first burn, the entry burn, should happen around the T plus six minute and 20 second mark, while the second burn uh, will happen around the T plus eight minute mark. You can also see that our hypersonic grid fins have deployed on the first stage. Those are the honeycomb-like structures that you see on screen. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. They help to guide and steer the first stage back during descent. Now the satellites on the second stage, um, we're sending 60 more up there to join the existing the existing 750, so after today's mission, we'll have 800 Starlink satellites up there. The satellites will stay powered down until after stage separation, uh, until after they separate from the second stage. You might be able to see some periodic bursts of gas from the first stage. That is nitrogen gas from our attitude control systems. Those help to orient the rocket as it continues to fall back towards Earth. And we're just about 20 seconds away from the first of two burns, first stage entry burn. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, FTS is saved. Three Merlin engines have relit and are now slowing. And lift off.
happening back to back. First is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Se stage separation is where the first and second stage will separate from one another, with the first stage making its way back towards Earth for landing, while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, which is second engine start one, also known as SES-1. Uh, this is where the single engine on the second stage, our Merlin vacuum engine, lights up and will continue to propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Got some really cool footage of Falcon 9. Stage separation confirmed. All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right-hand side of the screen. Again, on the left-hand side of the screen is our first stage. It's gonna make its way back to Earth to attempt landing for the sixth time on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Next event coming up is fairing deploy. Should happen just a few seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves, and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. And lift off. Vehicles pitching down range. also known as MECO. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Se stage separation is where the first and second stage will separate from one another, with the first stage making its way back towards Earth for landing, while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, which is second engine start one, also known as SES-1. Uh, this is where the single engine on the second stage, our Merlin vacuum engine lights up and will continue to propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Got some really cool footage of Falcon 9. Stage separation confirmed.
All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right-hand side of the screen. Again, on the left-hand side of the screen is our...